Hey, this is Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com, and today I'm going to show you how you can DIY video scribe, how you can do it yourself so you can record yourself writing or drawing on your screen and speed it up so it looks like this. Video scribing is like eye candy. You just can't take your eyes off of it. But I'm going to tell you up front, it's not easy. It's going to take some time and a lot of practice. And I'm not an artist, and there are a lot of professionals out there that can do this much better than me. But it's fun, it's challenging, and it got a really nice response when I shared it in a previous video. So I'm happy to show you how I did it today. So first, let's go over the equipment that you need. Now, many of the pros will actually use real whiteboards and dry erase markers, uh, but I do this all electronically using a tablet setup where you can draw with a pen on your screen on a little tablet that's next to your desktop. Now, there's a lot of different brands out there, but I use a Bamboo by Wacom. Now, secondly, you'll need some sort of screen capture software to record what you're writing on the screen. And the best for this is Camtasia. Camtasia for Mac, or if you're on a PC, then Camtasia Studios. Uh, but ScreenFlow for Mac will work too, just not as well as Cam Camtasia for Mac for this particular sort of ta uh, technique. And number three, you're going to need to download a piece of software called Audacity. It's free. They have it for PC and Mac. Again, that's Audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y. And you can just look it up in Google or something. And lastly, preferably, you should have Photoshop on your computer to draw in, if not some sort of Photoshop alternative that has a pen tool that you can draw on a, on a whiteboard or whatever uh, in, in that program will work for you. So once you have that, all you have to do is follow the step-by-step -step process that I'm about to show you right now. Okay, so here we are in Audacity, and the basic idea here is we want to get an MP3 file in here that we're going to use in our screen recording software and in Audacity when we slow it down. So whether you already have that MP3 file or you want to create it here on Audacity and then uh, slow it down here, that's, you know, just get the audio in Audacity somehow. So I'm just going to record straight into Audacity. Uh, this is one way to do it. So I'm just going to record something really quick. Hey, thanks for visiting smartpassiveincome.com. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to press play. Hey, thanks for visiting smartpassiveincome.com. Okay, great. So if you did that and you didn't have an MP3 file of this already, you want to go ahead and create that. So you can actually do that with Audacity. You can go to File and then Export and then Export as an MP3. Uh, just get that MP3. And then once you have that, let's do the next step. So I'm going to fast forward to when I have that already. Okay, so after you have your MP3 file ready, and you know we've just set it up with Audacity, it's in Audacity, drag and drop it into your screen capture software. So I have Camtasia, Mac for, open, uh, Camtasia for Mac open now. I'm just going to drag and drop it into the timeline. And I'm going to press play just to listen to it. Hey, thanks for visiting smartpassiveincome.com. Okay, great. So now we have to go back into Audacity. That's there for reference in Camtasia for Mac. And we're going to use this little dial here to change the playback speed. So I'm going to change the playback speed from 1x all the way down to about 0.23x. So what's going to happen is when I play when I play this again using this particular green button next to the dial here, you're going to hear it's super slow. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really slow, but that helps us when we're drawing and writing because we can catch up to what with what we're saying and write certain elements. And then when we speed up that video, along with that audio, it's just going to be it's it's you know that's vid that's uh, video scribing. So we're all set up to go here. I'm going to show you Photoshop really quick because that's actually where I'm going to be drawing. And you're looking in Photoshop right now. Let me drag this here so you can see. This is the background that I created that's kind of branded with my logo in the upper left and then a space to write on in the middle. But I want to make sure that for this, I want to write in a layer above the background so that, you know, if I write like this, I can just easily turn off that layer to delete it um, instead of kind of writing on the background and then everything gets all screwed up. So you always want to make sure that you're writing on separate layers in Photoshop. So let me undo that, move this out of the way. 
And so we're all set up to go here. What we want to do is go back into Camtasia and make sure that we press the record button. Now, because I'm actually recording this tutorial in Camtasia right now, uh, that's why there's a pause button here, but this would be a big red button instead. You would want to press that to start recording. And then, uh, you know, don't worry about getting things right. You can lead up to it. You can always delete the stuff out before you start this technique. Uh, but again, just for your reference, this will be a big red button here where you can record. And you want to record a certain area around your kind of Photoshop uh, background here. So the next step is to record and then go into Audacity, play at slow speed, jump into Photoshop. Like I said, this isn't easy. And then write while you're speaking at the slow speed. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And anytime you do some little wiggly thing or you start to draw something like people, it, it looks really cool when it's in fast motion. But again, I did a short audio for you, so uh, I just wanted to, to do this really fast for you. So that's that's what it's like. And then you'd stop recording, or you can go back and try it again. You know, just delete everything in Photoshop, and then and then go back in Audacity, press play, and try it again. I think I like that one a little better, actually. So again, you can just keep doing it till you get it right or you're happy with it. Then you stop recording, and I'm actually going to keep recording because I'm recording this tutorial for you. That was kind of one of the big challenges of recording this tutorial because I'm recording, recording a tutorial or something like that. I don't know. It's just crazy. But anyways, once you have that done, you go back into Camtasia, and that will be here in your timeline. So I'm gonna stop this video so that it's entered there and I'll show you how to manipulate it right now and I'll come right back. Okay, so we're back in our screen capture software. We had just finished recording and so this little thing popped up in the timeline which is that video that we just recorded. So what we're gonna do is just drag and drop it anywhere on the uh, anywhere on the timeline right now. It doesn't matter for, for right now. And what we're gonna do is zoom out and we're basically just gonna look at the preview screen and try to find the video of where there it is, of where we wrote stuff down. So as you can see, it's right there. It starts right there. So I'm just gonna hit Command T to delete and kind of split the tracks. Uh, if you're in ScreenFlow, you just have to press T. If you're in Camtasia, you press Command T or Control T to split the tracks, then you can delete which, what you don't want. So I'm gonna test these two things. As you can see, there's this one here that we did, and that lasts till about there after I did the squigglies and I think I drew some people after that. So there's that one. So I'm going to split that one off. And actually you don't need the audio since we already have audio. That was just audio of me talking over it. And then this other one here, which I liked better, was starts right there. And then that one ends right there. So let me clean those up. And now I have these, oh, I don't need the audio. So now I have the videos, just the video in the timeline for each of those different things that we just uh, did, both of our takes. So what, what we have to do now is we have to slow this down. So how do we slow this down? You right click on this and uh, darn it, you can't see it here because this is not being uh, recorded, but it says add clip speed or what you can actually do is highlight the thing that you want to speed up and then go to video effects and click on clip speed. You can actually drag this onto that particular timeline that you want to speed up. And so what happens is it says effect added. You click on this and then on the right hand side here, there's this kind of settings button. If you scroll down, you'll see it says speed 100%. Now, since we did it at 23%, I mean, it's not exact, you know, if we preferably we want 25%, but Audacity does it weird. It's like 23 and point, point 0.28 or 0.26. So basically we just want to speed this up 400%. Okay, so there we have it there. It's sped up uh, at about 400%. I'm going to bring this back to the beginning and kind of zoom in. 
and you'll be able to see kind of what happens from the start. Hey, thanks for visiting smartpassiveincome.com. So there you go, there's little drawings that we did and everything. Uh, it's kind of cut off a little bit because of the settings area, but let me try one more time so you can see. Hey, thanks for visiting smartpassiveincome.com. Do, do, little drawings, da, da, da. So as you can see, it sped up what we just did, which is pretty cool. Uh, if, if the audio is a little bit longer, it would make more sense because you'd be writing certain words at certain points that match up with that audio, and it, it would look pretty cool, actually, just like you saw at the beginning of this video. Now, we're going to go to this other piece of video that we recorded, the one that I liked better, and see kind of what that looks like. So I'm going to just move this one out of the way and bring this one back. But again, this one's at regular speed right now, so we have to speed it up again. So I'm gonna drag the clip speed tool on top of that, it says effect added. And then I'm gonna go here to the settings bar, the gear here, and crank the speed to 400% and see what happens. Hey, thanks for visiting smartpassiveincome.com. All right, so it cut off pretty fast because there wasn't any fun drawings at the end. But you know you can play around with the you can play around with the uh, with the the length of this a little bit. Actually, what happens if I go over there? Let's see. Hey, thanks for visiting smartpassiveincome.com. And then I think I start talking and then start editing stuff after that. Uh, yeah, so. You want to play around with this to make sure it lines up with the audio correctly. And hey, thanks for visiting smartpassiveincome.com. So, so yeah, that that's basically how it works. Again, this is a really difficult tutorial to create for you, but that's the basic idea. Get into Audacity, get an MP3 file in there, slow it down. It's best if you have a script to go along with it so you can follow along because the the voice is really slow and sometimes you have to figure out where where you're at or what what to draw next and then draw on Photoshop while that's playing. Go into Camtasia or ScreenFlow and, and speed up the clip. You can change the speed and see if it matches up better or move things around a little bit just, just so it lines up more correctly. But again, I just wanted to create this for you and show you how that was done. And hopefully there'll be a, an easier way to do this. Uh, you know, I just learned this the other day and I want to show you how I figured it out. If I figure out a better way to do uh, the, these video scrubbing videos, I, I'll definitely let you know. But I, you know, I would love to see any of you try this. And uh, you know, if you have a tablet already, this would be something fun to uh, to attempt. So, good luck. I wish you all the best, and uh, thanks. I'll see you at SmartPassiveIncome.com.